here because I've written an introduction to a new, very exciting book uh, for people training in counselling skills for helping work and also for people starting training in counselling. The book's written by three authors, um, Fiona Ballantyne Dykes, Barry Kopp and Tracy Postings. And all three of them are highly experienced counsellors and counselling trainers. Additionally, they've all played key roles in the development and delivery of counselling qualifications. I think this book is needed because it will provide a doorway for people that otherwise may well have been deterred from counselling. As historically, counselling has been seen as, a, as an intellectual exercise in part. And many people are put off by the lengthy and wordy books on the subject, whereas this book is in a language that will speak to everyone and it calls into question the old myth that counselling is only for a select few. Um, it speaks in a language for everyone because counselling is for everyone, everyone who's in pain or needs some support. This book takes you into counselling, the world of counselling, in a completely different way. It's designed for people who want to learn counselling skills, which they might use in a lot of roles, not just becoming a counsellor, but it's also designed as the first step in training to become a counsellor. The book's divided into three parts. Uh, part one is about developing counselling skills, primarily for working as a helper, working as a helping professional, um, but also they're the skills, the basic skills, that you need when you are training as a counsellor. Part two is very much about um, starting to train in counselling and preparing for working in an agency at a later point in your training. And part three is about the kinds of skills that you need in order to study on one of these courses, one of these counselling skills or counselling courses. The thing that makes this book unique and different from other books in the area is that it's written in the form of a conversation. And in many ways that reflects the process of counselling itself, where two people are talking to each other. But it also means that things can be approached in a very conversational way, which makes it very accessible and very um, different from most academic texts. Most of the books that are written on the subject of counselling and theory are academic books. They can be very wordy and on a personal level I find them quite dense and difficult to really engage with. This book on the other hand um, encourages the reader to reflect on their own processes and to engage in activities and exercises so that it's actually a relationship in itself. Most books are written in a quite an academic style for counselling um, and I guess we hope that this is a very accessible conversational style which provides the person with the essential information they need in a very accessible way. Um, even asking questions that they themselves might ask and want clarification on. This book is needed because it approaches a subject that's been well covered by many people in a very different way. Not only is it structured differently, but it's in a different kind of language and it's meant to appeal to the sort of reader who perhaps has been out of learning for a while or perhaps isn't comfortable with more academic texts. One of the problems in uh, a lot of counselling books is that they can be very, very theoretical. Uh, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, 
But I think particularly when you're starting training, and also for the many people who are very practical and, and kind of want to want to do it, want to do the counselling skills and do the counselling, there's a bit of a gap for very practical books. If I had to pick one thing that would say this book would really leap off the shelves at you, it's the fact that when you even see the cover, it has a humorous, light-hearted feel about it. But at the same time, the material contained in that book is every bit as important and at every kind of depth that you would expect a book of this level to be.